Hello everyone, this is Tammy. I've had some questions on the wild card and the fit to page and why you can only cut a card so big. So I thought I'd do a video and really explain fit to page. I'll do it with the wild card first uh, cartridge and then I'll show you some other things um, in case you didn't know, especially if you're newer to the Cricut. So let's get started. I have loaded my paper already and I'm just using um, a thinner um, pattern paper from my mind's eye and it's of course white on one side. So um, we are going to be cutting out Tweety uh, in the wild card that is on page 47. Um, as you see this is the envelope on the shift key and this is the card base. Now since the envelope is much bigger and on all of the images on this cartridge you need to cut the envelope first if you want to make the card as big as you can on a 12 by 12 uh, piece of paper so um, we are going to be using the fit to page but this is what we're going to do we need to get get the envelope so we need to press the shift and it's this key here Whoop, it went twice so I'll backspace now, after I get the envelope up, I'm going to hit Fit to Page. Now, it does not matter if you can see my screen, it is set on one inch. The last thing I was cutting was one inch. Um, that doesn't really matter. It doesn't even come into effect with the Fit to Page on. I just want to make this envelope as big as I can on this 12 by 12 sheet. So, this is really important. Before I press my cut button, I need to look at my screen. It will calculate and tell me how big the envelope, the size that the envelope is cutting. But I um, need to put everything else on that size. I will show you. Um, I will hit my cut button. It's calculating and it's going to cut at five inches. I've taken the envelope off the mat and I have folded it. Hope you can see that. We'll look at it at the end. Um, I've loaded my next paper that I want to cut the base out. And um, this is it. I'm just going to be cutting the base out. Now, I need to, this is the important thing, I need to take my fit to page off. I need to put my size on five. Remember, it cut my envelope out at five and then I need to um, push the button for the card. Okay, and it's Tweety. And I'm gonna ha going to go ahead and cut that and then we'll make the rest of our cuts. I'll show you. I have made the cut and this is what it looks like. Now, some of you, you know, why can I only cut out a five inch, five inch card? Why can I only do this? Now, if you look, the card measures this way five inches okay and in the book uh, if you looked at one of my videos you always lay your book this way on the mat and your um, whatever you have your um, size on your uh, it will cut it that many inches this way okay so it cut here's the card and it cut five inches so that's but that's the biggest now. Um, I only had an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper in with this, but I figured I could still uh, it would still just fit. And in, and here's what I had left from the eight and a half by eleven. Not too much. So that's how they get on the wild cards the five inches. Now the rest of the things I'm going to go ahead and cut out. But uh, when I get it all put together and I have a, another example something. Um, that you can do with the fit to page also. So I'm also going to cut out the frame. Uh, I'm going to cut out the phrase. I may cut another one of those icons out and then I'm also going to cut the liner um, for the card and for the envelope. I won't be using the blackout on this one. So I will go ahead and cut the rest of those out and I will have my um, size on five inches while I'm cutting all those pieces out. I'm going to show you just uh, a couple more examples of how you can use the fit to page. Um, 
I've put in the George, and then I'll finish, I'll show you the finished card. I've put in my George cartridge. We're just going to cut out a couple simple shapes. Now, um, we're going to cut out the star here on page 94. Okay, I have loaded um, my mat, and I have a piece of cardstock, 8.5 by 11. Now, one thing before you do fit to page, you have to set the paper size. Um, unless, uh, like I did the envelope, it's a 12 by 12. It already thinks everything is a 12 by 12 unless you tell it otherwise. So, I've loaded my mat. We are going to set the paper size. First of all, I have to bring my blade over to the corner of the page. And that's about it. Let's see. That's pretty close. Then, all I do is it's the second button up from the bottom here. I hit set paper size. And it'll tell you what size you have in there. It says my paper is 8 and a quarter, so, or 11 and a quarter inches long, so I probably have the blade just a little off. But it's close. Now, I can use the fit to page. So, I'm going to press that star, and it is on the shift. And so I'll hit shift, and it must be here. Okay, now I am going to turn on fit to page. I just want to make a big star. Maybe I have a poster. I need, I need the biggest one I can get on this 8.5 by 11. Okay, so I'll just press cut. It will calculate. It's going to cut an 8-inch star. But I'm not going to be layering anything on it. So that's all I would need to know. I've loaded another piece of cardstock. You can hardly see it. It's really small. Let's move the blade um, to it. If you can see it, it's yellow. And let's move the blade to it. Okay, that's pretty close. And remember, I'm using Fit to Page, so I have to set the paper size. And you can see if that button takes, because it always comes up here in, on your screen, the size of your paper. So you know that it it knows that. Now my fit to page is already on. I'm going to hit that shift and hit that um, star again and it'll calculate. Let's see how big. Remember I can put any size in and uh, I can do fit to page. So I just have this little one and I want to cut the biggest one I can get out of it. It's going to cut it five and a half. And so it'll start cutting. Okay. Now I just wanted to show you the two stars I made on the scrap paper and on the 8.5 by 11. And um, the reason I only got this size out of an 8.5 by 11 because it cut it this way on the paper. So it cut it by the 8.5 inch. And remember it did cut 8 inches. So these are more um, almost like I didn't have the real dial size on but these stars cut like a real dial size. Okay, now for my finished card. This is the envelope. Um, and here's the liner in the envelope and a little bird on the back. It turned out really cute in the greens and pinks. And this is the card that goes with it. Very simple. Now I could have put like some cream colored uh, cardstock back here and put the you made my day on that. But I wanted it when you opened it and on the message part. So um, that's what I like about wild card though. And if you have a gypsy and a wild card, you can really do some different things. Um, you can manipulate things and uh, it's really nice. I like the gypsy with the wild card. But the wild card is still really nice for the Cricut because it's so many easy cards and so many occasions. Okay, well, thanks for watching.